Stackhouse Sophisticated Storage. In this video, we will show you how to assemble your Space Series Tall Pantry. Before you begin assembly, please make sure to read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Please note that there are some steps in the assembly process that might require two people to help with the assembly. The Space Series Tall Pantry is able to hold up to a maximum weight of 10 kilograms per shelf. Start the assembly by checking the parts list. Verify that the following parts are included with your assembly. Check the assembly for the following hardware. The following tools are recommended for this installation. Step 1. Main Frame Assembly For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin Step 1 by locating the frame stand, Part G, and placing flat on the ground. Next, place the adjustable connecting rail, Part E, on the closed end of the frame stand. Slide Part E into the hole located on the end of Part G. Match the holes and secure Part E to Part G using two Part N bolts. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips screwdriver. Leave the bolts semi-loose for later adjustment on Step 3. Please take care not to over-tighten the bolts. Next, locate the lower connecting rail Part F. Lining up the holes on the inner frame and sides of the bottom section of Part G, slide the Part F rail to the bottom of Part G as shown. Secure Part F to Part G using six Part R bolts and four Part V washers. Two Part R bolts and two Part V washers are to be tightened to each side of Part G and two Part R bolts will be used on the front inner section of the main frame. Tighten the bolts using the provided K5 Allen key Part T. Repeat these steps for the remaining bolts. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2 – Installing the rail tracks. For this step, you will require the following parts. Two people will be needed for this step. There are different size models available. Depending on the height of your cabinet, please see the corresponding dimensions as instructed in the manual. Begin step two by locating the upper rail track part A and the large guide rail track part C. Part A will be placed in the center of the inner cabinet rooftop with a spacing of approximately 74 millimeters from the open cabinet end. Please reference the correct number of millimeters from the edges as shown. Slide the track out of the way and secure Part A to the cabinet using four Part L screws. Tighten the screws using a power drill with a Phillips head drill bit. With the assistance of another person, ensure that Part A remains intact and in place as it is being secured to prevent misalignment. Take care not to over tighten the screws. Next, Part C will be placed in the centre of the bottom base with a spacing of approximately 25mm from the open cabinet end. Please reference the correct number of millimetres from the edges as shown and number of millimetres from the edges as shown. Slide the tracks out of the way and secure Part C to the bottom base using six Part L screws. Tighten the screws using a power drill with a Phillips head drill bit. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Attaching the main frame assembly. 
For this step, you will require the following parts. You will require the assistance of another for this step. Begin step 3 by locating the mainframe assembly and lining up the assembly with the bottom large guide rail track, part C. With the assistance of another person holding the mainframe assembly straight up, align the mainframe assembly with part C so that the bottom section of the assembly fits in with the middle section of part C as shown. Secure the mainframe assembly to part C using two part O bolts and one part P hexagonal insert. Tighten the bolts and the part P insert using the provided K4 Allen key part S. Take care not to over tighten the hardware. Next, loosen the bolts on the top section of the mainframe assembly and raise the top section of the assembly so that the sufficient height is necessary to attach to the part A rails as shown. Finally, after the assembly is lined up and attached to part A, tighten the previously loosened screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Verify that all hardware has been secured and that the newly combined assembly adequately slides in and out. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4. Assembling the door panel. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 4 by locating the door panel of the assembly and laying it flat on a leveled surface with the back side facing up. There are pre-drilled holes on the cabinet door. Matching the three centre holes of the door, attach three Part U door panel plastic brackets to the cabinet door. Secure the Part U wrenches to the door using three Part L screws. Tighten the screws using a power drill with a Phillips head drill bit. Repeat these steps for the remaining screws. Step 4 is now complete. Step 5. Attaching the T-shaped brackets. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 5 by locating the two Part D T-shaped brackets. Line up both Part D rail brackets to the allocated spots on the mainframe assembly as shown. Insert both Part D T-shaped brackets into the top and bottom of the mainframe assembly until the T-shaped brackets lock into place. Verify that both top and bottom Part D brackets are correctly placed in the allocated spots and remains intact on the rail. Step 5 is now complete. Step 6. Attaching the door to the mainframe assembly. For this step, you will require the following parts. Two people will be required for this step. Begin step 6 by placing the previously assembled cabinet door assembly onto the mainframe assembly. The two T-shaped Part D brackets will be secured to the door assembly using four Part Q screws each. Before securing the Part D brackets, the three Part U door panel plastic brackets must be turned and twisted horizontal so that they fit into the mainframe assembly when mounting the door on. With the help of another person, push the door panel into place and keep the cabinet door steady. Proceed by securing both T-shaped Part D brackets using four Part Q screws each. Tighten the screws using a power drill with a Phillips head drill bit. Repeat these steps for the remaining screws. Step 6 is now complete. Step 7. 
attaching the bottom frame cover. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 7 by locating the Part B low frame cover. Place Part B over the lower rail, slide it and lock it into place. Secure Part B to the lower rail using one Part M screw. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips screwdriver. Step 7 is now complete. Step 8. Attaching the shelf trays. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin Step 8 by locating one Part H shelf tray. The shelves are shipped fully assembled. Next, attach the Part H tray to the corresponding bottom section of the rail. Before attaching the tray to the rail, make sure the clip is pushed downward towards you as shown. Push the tray into place and secure it by adjusting the clip on the tray. To lock the tray into place, swivel the clip in the motion shown and then lock the tray into place. Repeat these steps for the remaining trays. The number of trays vary per desired height. Typically four to six trays can be used. After locking all shelf trays into place, step eight is now complete. Step nine, tightening and adjusting the door panel. Begin step 9 by locating the bottom of the main frame assembly. Tighten the bolts and follow hardware if needed to adjust the panel if it does not fit properly. Verify that the rails slide the door in and out correctly by opening and closing the cabinet a few times. Congratulations, you have completed the assembly of the Space Series Tall Pantry. Before using your new pantry, verify that all hardware is intact and that the rails slide forward and retract without issue in accordance with the owner's manual. Enjoy your new Space Series Tall Pantry. Brought to you by Stackhouse Sophisticated Storage.